like what I'm doing now. Are there other challenges in the game that I certainly uh, am interested in? Yeah, and I think as one of the things that is lost in this is that there's, you know, there has not been an African American CEO in Major League Baseball. So why would I, why would I not at least listen, even if I am happy with my job and my family situation and everything else and, and love Chicago, I think it's part of my responsibility being in this game and the position I hold to at least um, flush out the possibilities. When you say now is not the time, you mean with this particular organization that, that you may grant you that in the future with some other organization if it comes up? Or no, this, this particular time in our preparation for the upcoming season. So whether that comes, like in a couple of weeks. whether that comes in, that's something that, that you guys are going to have to ask him. Uh, whether that comes about, you know, I I have to. The way that I work is is my focus is right here, and on putting this team together. And I cannot. Uh, I'll use an expression that you guys may or may not be able to write. When we have a Triple A player that is wanting to be in the big leagues, and he's so focused on being in the big leagues versus being in Charlotte. Oftentimes that player has gotten a call from me or I've had a personal conversation where I said, listen, the best thing you can do is have your head and your in the same city, the same place. And I think at this particular time, that's something that is important for me to, uh, uh, to consider and to, to certainly adhere to. Our dreams, are, our dreams are to get back to the World Series and win the World Series. So we're better together. And, and we have we've accomplished some things very quickly here in the last few years um, to put back together what we think is a strong nucleus um, and and with a few pieces added here and there we'll, we'll be back in the mix so you know it, nobody here is anxious to to break that up no one.